What is up, M. Average? Welcome back to another very exciting episode. As you can see, we got the stocking hat on. We got all sorts of layers on because guess what? It is 33 degrees right now and the wind's blowing 25 miles an hour. So naturally, we're road tripping to go do a little bit of fishing. We gotta be a little bit hardcore sometimes and that's definitely in store today because Old Mr. Porn Stash has been on this incredible bite at this local, somewhat local lake. We're road tripping to the lake today to go meet up with him. Um, he caught the biggest fish of his life the other day, a giant, giant flathead catfish, along with some awesome other species like big ass walleye. You got a chance to catch big bass, giant crappie, all different sorts of stuff. So of course, he invited me out. I had to take him up on the offer. So we're going there right now to do that. Kind of a, a nostalgic, terrifying thing though. I'll, I'll tell you guys why in just a second. You're gonna be a little bit surprised when you see what I'm going back to be doing some fishing at, but I'm excited nonetheless. Also, two really quick things before we get started with the fishing today. Don't forget, this is one of the last days you can go get that 50% off discount on that line, that fishing line that I've been using. They have fluorocarbon monofilament, they have jet black braid, they have white braid for ice fishing, ice fishing line, all different types of stuff but it's already really cheap. It's 50% off right now using that promo code MF50. Oh, also, can you do me one, one more favor? If you guys like the multi-species fishing stuff, I ask you this all the time. If you can hit the subscribe button right now, I would love you forever. I'll come, I'll personally come hug you, give you a kiss on the lip. All right, I probably won't, but I will love you forever if we do. All right, I'll see you guys at the lake. But uh, let's go, let's go fishing right now. Might be a bit windy today. It's like the ocean out there. Ugh. Literally gives me the chills being back out of here. Do you guys remember that? I seriously can't believe we're fishing today. This is gonna be miserable. It's so cold. At least we're in a somewhat protected ish cove. Horn stash is already hiding in his truck because he's been here for like a couple hours. Just called me. Kind of like a six pound walleye. Missed another freaking giant so far, so. At least they're biting-ish. Hope it's worth it. It's gonna be a fun time. I strongly apologize for all the wind noise in this video. It's blowing. I told you guys this multiple times. Let's, let's go yell at Josh though. Let's see he's got poles out out here. He's here! Hello friend. It was much colder out. It's actually kind of nice. Yeah, I think it warmed up to like seven. Are you a fair weather fisherman? I am. That's why I'm here. <laughs> and one back. So you're giving me this. You get one for the I get 70 one. I lost. <laughs> yeah, Josh lost 392 of mine last year. This has been the deal though for, you said, crappie, bass. Crappie, bass, old slowpoke McGee over there missed out on my big walleye this morning. Ah! <laughs> Had to take the dad master to school like yeah. an idiot. Kids are more important than walleye and the walleye wasn't that big. It was. I w it, w it was over six pounds. I weighed it. You got a couple cat poles out. Yep, and I'm just working on a video while watching them. But they've That's been getting, they've been getting hit. What happened uh, two days ago? What what did you happen to catch? Uh, I caught like a 55 pound flathead. And right then, there. And then a 25. So. So we're in the right right place. We got a shot at your biggest fish of your life again. Again. Not biggest channel though. You ain't gonna catch a channel bigger than that, but. You might that's, get a flathead today. That's what I'm going for, don't you know? Don't you know? Feels like we're in the north. <laughs> it freaking <It's> does. <laughs> Minus 34 out. All right, I'm going to tie some shit on now. Stash says we'll leave his couple catfish poles out. I think he said he has cut skipjack herrings out there. And then we're going to vertical jig for some big walleye, big crappie, big bass, and potentially even catch some catfish doing it um, with the blade baits. So I'm going to get that. I'm gonna get a couple different blade baits on actually. I'm gonna use that one Bensky blade bait that he just gave me, that little quarter ounce on my spinning rod. And then I made some up actually with my do it mold that are big and they're badass. I'm gonna put that on my crankbait rod. Something I haven't probably seen. My hands are already freaking numb. I haven't started fishing yet. Not the best start. So here's that giant blade bait I was telling you guys about. I don't know if you remember, but Brennan from Do It was showing me this when I did the Do It tour last year. Here's the size comparison next to the Bensky though. This thing is like 
it's massive it's probably three times the size and that's just a quarter ounce Benski but I think something with a lot more thump maybe than they've been seeing might be the deal Josh is up there snagged he just said oh there's not any snags on this dock over here by the way he was completely brain dead not doing anything and then I pull up and he decides that he's got a fish so he goes out there and he's getting all the active fish right now at least he's snagged hopefully he'll stay snagged you guys ever have a friend like that like you go fishing with them and they're like oh yeah it's all good we're just gonna we're gonna chill and we're gonna go out to our spot and oh my god i gotta start and then they run out there and they're like oh yeah i don't got anything ready yeah we'll, we'll just tie our stuff on and then all of a sudden they're freaking they're just out there catching them poaching all the good casts good spots good angles before you get there to be fair he beat me here obviously got a big walter head i want to catch a walter head This is definitely going to be a gloves on type of day. Gloves on. Grab my slon stick. Let's go catch some. I thought they said it was supposed to be cold today. It's terrible. I'm going to start with the big blade. Just to see. Hey, you all over here today. I caught the 50 though. They were like jumping out of the water. After. What? And you couldn't get them to bite? Uh -huh. Hmm. That's weird. Uh, we maybe have one of them bite. But... I caught, uh, I don't know what I caught, but that's nasty. <laughs> I caught a washcloth. You're right, man. The bite is on. That was my second drop, and I already caught a washcloth. We need to get you out here. Duh. I know. I'm out here at a terrible time of the day, like usual. <laughs> that's why I do all my fishing. I gotta give him a fair chance, Josh. We still got a shot. I know. I ain't worried about it. So you want to like drop it down the tube, right? <laughs> but literally I dropped it right where you dropped it and Dude, that is so shallow. I should have just fallen in right here. That would have been so much easier. Oh yeah. <laughs> but no, I kept throwing where the wipers were blowing up and I kept catching bass. Really? Yeah. But so they, they definitely weren't bass blowing up. They were in there eating shit too. Oh yeah. I mean it's like I was catching them at the surface in like 15 feet of water. Huh. Bass. That's insane. Do you think the walleye and stuff relate to these docks, or are they just in here everywhere? Probably in here everywhere. Uh, now that the sun's out, though, you think they kind of sit under it? Yeah. <laughs> that a babe. Out the crack. Right out the crack. 17 pound crappy. Oh, I wish we could use him as bait. He'd probably work just Oh, you can't use them? Ah, I got you. Oh, here we go. Oh, I had a stink bait container. Dang it. It was full. We could have used that. Mm -hmm. God dang it. He may be trying for it, potentially. Yeah. That hey, is. that's one you can put on a hook. <laughs> that is one that's big enough, probably. But... <laughs> Shoot. Well, the old blade bait's not getting her done, so we got the ice fishing expert who's gonna show me that guy. That'll work. All right, let's give her a whirl. We got the Vexilars out here. One of these times, I really will bring pan optics I swear Josh all right give me two hours I'll get this tied on there we go it's like a shoe Josh a sock a sock a well, there we have it folks a giant yeah I might get it mounted can we get some measurements for a replica please I don't want to take it into him because I'm gonna eat it, not because I'm letting go. <laughs> oh, your first fish. First fish of the day. Woo! Took 17 hours. I'm throwing him over there so he doesn't tell his friends. Flathead 516. Another one. Another one. School's here. Drop the poles. Josh, put the poles down. 
Stop it. Oh, wait, there's already. Stop it. Catching them in a crack. Look at the coloration. Look, he's got. Yeah, they. a lot of them have the hurt. What is that? It's. I think it's genital Dude, warts. Dude, that is disgusting. Genital fin warts, Josh I thought, says. I thought you were the channel cat master. I am, I'm dude. Master. Dang it. I got excited. Freaking had a bite finally on the channel cat pole. There's more down there, too. Where did my thingy go? Okay, Josh. Apparently, this does work. Whatever. All right, I'm never leaving. I'm staying here forever. There we go. Oh yeah. We got another gigantic 10 incher. Nah, it's really not bad. This isn't the target species, guys. This is just what we're doing while the big ones get pulled on. We had one big cat bite so far to let go of it, but this is pretty cool. Fishing through a crack with the ice fishing fish finder. I told you guys about 37 times a day, I'm not excited for the, uh, the ice fishing. But uh, this is fine, Josh. Whatever. Corn stash can't, can't wait. <laughs> I'm excited for going to some cool places, but around here, I'm out. There we go. Oh, no! That was a 12, 15 pounder minimum. Crappy. He doesn't like scent. Not a big scent guy. Oh, my God, Josh. Don't stare at it. You're giving me bad luck by staring at it. <laughs> yeah, you're about to lose an eyeball. You got a little protection at least, but. <laughs> so I've been fishing for several hours now. I'm not warm. I probably got snot frozen to my damn nose out here in the tundra. Basically just waiting for these big poles to go off. We got big cut bait. There's a tail of one of the big cut baits right there, just for proof. Just waiting down there for a big old slaunch of sore. What, up to a 70, 80 pound fish to grab it potentially? Uh, yeah, there's 60, 70, 80 pounders in here. And then uh, in the meantime, we found the magic crap eye hole. Oh, Josh is gonna try to catch one here. He's on it. Really, the biggest problem has been I'm using my, uh, my MF or series rod with straight braid. I need something a little bit softer. So I think if I come back out here, and it sounds like we definitely need to come back out here during a better time of the day. Josh, we're getting bit on the cat pole, I think. Black one? That one. It definitely tightened and bent. But the wind's blowing 92, so I'm not much help. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, i um, going to give it a few more hours, jig around a little bit, see if we can make something happen and then of course Josh says he's got giant walleye and stuff right there in this hole too so who knows maybe something will happen in it yeah huh he was hot as shiite Josh I can't lose this one this is a big this is make or break. Oh, never mind. He's smaller than I thought he was. <laughs> oh, never mind. He freaking donged it though, man. I saw he came flying. Dong. Ooh, you got fresh gulps? I like gulps. That's animal cruelty, Josh. How would you touch a fish like that? Violator. Jesus. Dirty throat violator. Can I have another one? Tips and tricks by the stash. This is how you thread something on a hook. <laughs> Did it get bit? Yeah, I'll take it. There was some definite interest. Too drag loose? Uh, it's tightish. 
Who's this Titus guy? What pound test you got here? 300? I think it's fine. We should go sit inside that boat cover. <laughs> yeah. We'll cut holes through it to put our poles up. Ooh. He's got it. The old skipjack nibbler. We'll let him nibble it one more time. So how do you know it's the difference between a flathead biting it and a channel? Would a flathead be just going ape shit? No, they go super slow. But they take it, huh? Yeah, you can just, they just have it. But yeah, they go way slower. This one's like banging it. But the flatheads are just like, it's just slow. He doesn't have it, man. I can feel the weight pulling across the rock when I pull back. Pulling across the rock because he's swimming with it. <laughs> like when I pull on it. Timmy. Come on, eat the skippy. Yeah, we got some confusion going on at least. Thank you for that. When do I set the hook? Thanks, Dad. Ugh. Back we go to the magic hole. Get away from me. No. Turn this so you can't see it. How's school today? Good. Stay away from girls? Yeah. Stay away from boys? Kind of. What? Kind of. <laughs> well, just got the dab master from school. Um, didn't obviously have the most successful time out on the water today, uh, which, you know, what can you expect? Last time when I was with Porn Stash, we caught those bluegill. And then later on, the freaking magic happened. Well, today we kind of caught some crappie dicking around. The magic just never happened. I was there at the wrong time of the day. So I need to get back to that place or, or other places that are similar to that one at a better bite window when the sun's going down, when the sun's coming up, or even at night. Let me know if you guys want to see some night fishing or something like that. We've got a couple trips planned coming up that I'm really, really freaking excited for. And hopefully you guys, you bared through me, bared through this one with me because it probably wasn't the most exciting, riveting anything that you've ever seen. I think me and Dab Master need to go, we need to shoot like a good old fashioned micro fishing, bank fishing type video. Mm -hmm. And Zach said the big large mouth that, that we caught, that we went and fed, yeah. that wouldn't eat those bluegill. It ate every single one of those bluegill already. You could hear it like thrashing around in the middle of the night out in the garage. So we probably need to get back out there and um, see if we can, I don't know, make that guy eat. I want, I want to see one eat a bluegill out of my hand. Yeah. And then the, this is the bait shop we like to go to also. Um, Zach told us that they have water dogs there. So maybe he'll eat a water dog. I don't freaking know. But hopefully you guys liked this video. And uh, there will be more to come very, very soon. Catch you guys in.